In this video, we're going to talk about Photoshop actions, and this is coming up. Hi, everybody, Innocent here, and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So, first of all, what are Photoshop actions, or what is Photoshop actions? Which is which? According to helpx.adobe.com, Photoshop action is a series of tasks that you play back on a single file or a batch of files. Many commands, panel options, tool action, and so on. For example, you can create an action that changes the size of an image, applies an effect to the image, and then saves the file in the desired format. Now, let me break it down for you. Let's assume that you have 20 images to edit. For each of the images, you are going to apply saturation, vibrance, and any other effect that you want on this image. You are going to do the same thing for 20 images. Instead of doing the same thing over and over again for the 20 images, what you can do is you can create what is called an action. So in basic terms, you create like a preset, just like in video editing. So you do for one and then you apply it on all the other images. I hope this will make sense at the end of this video. So for instance, let's bring in this image. We have say this image right over here. We have four other remaining images in the folder. Now, for this image, you want to apply vibrance or hue and saturation to it. We want to go to the filter, camera raw filter, and apply some effect on it. We are basically going to re edit this image. This is not going to be professional editing or anything. I'm just going to show you the steps. So, instead of us to do this over and over again, what we can do is we can go to window. So, this is where you find the Photoshop actions. So you come to window and right over here you're going to find actions now by default photoshop has even given you some actions that you can apply on this let's look at some of them so first off let's unlock our background so let's apply this one over here that photoshop has given to us it's, it's a gradient map okay so what this basically does is that it doesn't just apply on it it gives you the steps all the way again and it gives you the opportunity to make some changes if you want to okay it doesn't force the preset on it okay once you've checked this and you've selected the gradient here what you can do is you can click on the play button here so you follow the steps so the first one you click ok gradient map you click ok and then you see for this side you can decide to choose a different gradient map if you don't want to use the same one okay but then let's go by what has been created by Photoshop. So let's click OK again. And then it is going to set it to overlay. So this is basically what it creates for you. And even with this one, if you don't want it, you can reduce the opacity some more if you like. OK, now this has already created the gradient map for you. Now let's turn this off. Let's choose this one that I created recently. And that is bright. So it's basically going to brighten your image a bit for you. So let's click on play so the first step is you it adds some shadows or highlights to it if you don't like it like i said you can play with the amount or the intensity okay so we can even readjust it if the image looks a bit different then you can go on and click okay and now it will take us to the camera raw filters where we can also make some changes if you like this exact one once it takes you here you're just going to go ahead and click on OK so that it kind of apply the preset but you see from this image that the image is looking overexposed so we can drag the whites a bit down and we can decrease the shadows as well like that let's increase the temperature like I said this is not like a professional photo editing I'm just giving you the idea behind creating actions so we can add this and let's increase the vibrance a bit like that and let's say this is what we want okay so now we can go ahead and click on okay and now this action has been applied on this image if you undo you can see the difference and with you you're going to see the difference over here so these are ones that has been created by photoshop and the ones the one that i recently created now the question you ask yourself is if you want to create your own how do you go about that it is pretty simple once you open your actions panel you're going to click on this that says create new so you click on create new and then you can name this one tutorial effects 
and then once you hit on record here whatever actions you're going to take is going to be recorded into the actions so let's click on record now once you see the record you see this record sign active okay so let's say we want to make further changes to this first off let's add some levels so we press ctrl l and then we are going to add some levels you're just going to be adding some random stuff to this okay so let's add some levels right there let's click on okay let's add some curves so ctrl m and then we can select see the reds here drag it down slightly and go to the master oh no not this one actually okay so let's go to the rgb and drag it down slightly like that click ok now let's go to the filter um, camera raw filter and then we can add a couple of stuff to this so back here we're going to decrease the temperature slightly open up our shadows just random stuff okay you can just try with anything and then we can increase our vibrance let's go to detail and we are going to say denoise okay and add a bit of sharpening to this just basic stuff that we just now let me just make this whole thing way different so let's change the temperature way let's push it up way too much and play with the tint as well okay let's go somewhere around here somewhere around here it's fine now this we want to click on okay so you see that it has recorded the levels the curves and then the camera roll okay so as you really want to add any other thing to it for instance a test okay so innocent and then we are going to change the color to white and change the font to semi bold and then click on okay right you see that it has also recorded the make test layer right over here now let's assume we want to just do these four things on each of the images that you'll be bringing in so once you're done with everything you're just going to press on the stop playing or recording so you stop it and now your action has been created okay now let's quickly go, go and bring the next image in here so we press ctrl o importing your second image and we want to apply this effect on it first off let's unlock this one now here is something i forgot to talk about if you don't check this box right over here let's see what happens so we select the tutorial effect we click on play it will just automatically apply the whole effect to the image you won't have options to make changes to it as we did previously but if you check this button right over here it will take you it will kind of take you through the process so that if there is the need to make some slight adjustment to this you can do it as well so let's undo and undo again and then let's check this and click ok now we click play here and then it will take us through the process so do you want to adjust this slightly yes we want to and then we can click ok it takes us to the curves do you want to adjust this as well of course you can do that and then you can go to the camera raw filters now over here do you want to mix any changes if you want to you can do it if you don't want to you can leave it as is and you can go through all these things and make some changes as well and once you find what you want you can go ahead and click ok now you see that the test has already so this test or this thing can sort of be like your watermark or your logo you just need to place it once and you don't have to apply it on all of these again and now and when you get done you can go ahead and click ok you see how simple this is now let's do for the last one let's bring one one guy over here so we import this image this time around we are going to uncheck this click ok and then we will just hit on play button it automatically would apply the preset on this and you can see the difference undo and redo now you get it right but you would attest to this fact that if you had take this box and then made some couple of adjustments you would have made this picture right over here much better because this picture looks way more less saturated so we could have added a bit of saturation to it and that is the reason why in most cases you have to go through the process just that it speeds up there are parts you don't need to make 
any changes or there are parts you need to readjust the changes. I hope this makes sense to you. Now, let's assume also that we have this image. Let's delete this one or let's undo and we want to crop it. We are going to make another action. So we hit on plus icon. We are going to name this crop action and we are going to record. So we say that once you bring the image here, you are going to unlock it. Choose your crop to see for that and then you crop it into something like a portrait. Okay. Instead of the landscape, let's keep this portrait and we are going to click. Okay. So two things, right now let's go, let's stop recording, go back to this image and let's choose the crop tool here. Let's select this one, click on play. And now it is going to just bring the crop and you can easily readjust it to the size that you want. So let's adjust it some more and let's go to this side slightly and then you can hit enter you see how simple this can be so in summary we say that actions are basically repeated steps that you create so that it makes your work easier you don't have to do the same thing over and over again in the subsequent videos i'm going to show you how to apply this to a batch of files at the same time without having to go from one document to another to another if you want to see that video, you might want to subscribe so that you don't miss that out. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section and I will attend to that. Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.